from the effect produced upon his own heart by the recital of a Savior's love of the tendency it has to awaken in the bosom of a child the deepest emotions of contrition and gratitude. It is very observable in all the accounts of youthful piety that the Savior is the prominent object of affection. Any person will be interested in turning over the pages of almost any pious child's biography to witness how strong the impression which a Savior's love produces upon the heart. Even under the most adverse circumstances, the youthful heart has found its way to him. Not a few instances have occurred in which parents who have not been accustomed to give prominency to the Savior in their instructions have been surprised to find that Jesus Christ is the sympathizing friend to whom a child, in sickness and in suffering, has most of the